Why didn't you show up to dinner last night? I'm sorry that I couldn't make it. Ah, and that's why I cheated on you and went with someone else. Wow, I was at a funeral. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. Who died? My feelings for you. <gasps> Is everything okay? I had a really scary dream, and now my stomach hurts. What was it about? It was about me eating a really large marshmallow. A large marshmallow? <gasps> Luke, where's your pillow? What? You're supposed to be sleeping. You have school tomorrow. I can't fall asleep. There's something in my closet. What do you mean? Of course there's stuff in your closet. That's what it's meant for. No, I mean something big, giant, ugly, hairy, and scary. <sighs> Fine. Let me check. <gasps> I want you to marry a girl of my choice. No, Dad. The girl is Bill Gates' daughter. Okay, then. I want your daughter to marry my son. No! My son is the CEO of World Bank. Okay then. Make my son the CEO. No! He's the son-in-law of Bill Gates. Okay then. Police, there's a bunch of people following me. Don't worry, I'm coming to save you. Where are you? On Instagram. <laughs> Cartoon houses that exist in real life. You can visit SpongeBob's house without having to dive into the sea. At the Nickelodeon Resort in Punta Cana, there's a very similar replica of the cartoon's house. And it even has a life-size version of Gary. The Flintstones house was also made in real life. It's located in California and costs $4 million. In Nevada, there's a life-size replica of the Simpsons house. To build the house with all the details from the cartoon, the production company 20th Century Fox spent $120,000. And they had the great idea to give it away in a competition. But in the end, the winner of the competition preferred $75,000 instead of the house. Okay, double click on my computer. I can't see your computer. No, no, click on my computer on your computer. How can I click on your computer from my computer? Listen, there's an icon named my computer on your computer. Double click on it. What the heck is your computer doing on my computer? Double click on your computer. Which icon do I have to click? My computer. Then tell me where your house is and I'll come there and click on it! Uh, ah! How'd you afford those AirPods? I have a job. No, you're just rich. Jealousy the disease. Get well soon. Why are you praying in my class? My mom told me I should pray before sleeping. <gasps> what are you doing? I'm playing Monopoly. Why? I'm trying to get the get out of jail free card. <laughs> Whoever answers my question can go home. Who threw this pencil? Me, and I'm going home. <gasps> how long did you work during your last job? Around 30 years. And how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old and you have 30 years of experience? How is that possible? Overtime. <gasps> you have the job. Name five animals that live in water. Frog? Very good. Now name the other four animals. His mother, his father, his sister, and his brother. Do you have a girlfriend? Yep. Where's she from? The sea. What sea? My fantasy. You're so ugly. Really? Yeah. Good. I was trying to look like you today. No, I know. How's it going, loser? What do you want? To tell you that you were adopted. At least I was wanted. Here's three survival tips that could one day save your life. Starting a fire with almost no resources. All you need is batteries and foil, like a bubblegum wrapper. Just put the foil at the end of the batteries and it will start to heat up and burn. And once you get a flame, you could use things like Doritos to have a mini fire. Sending an emergency signal. Now that you know how to make a fire, you need a lot of smoke. To produce that, you could use fresh pine and spruce leaves, wet leaves from any other trees, or rubber materials. Another way to send a signal is by using something reflective, like a mirror, CD, metal, and even jewelry. Emergency number. A really handy thing to know is that most cell phones will dial your local emergency number even if you have no SIM card and no service. Doctor, I want some vitamins for my baby. Okay, vitamin A, B, or C. Any will work. He doesn't know the alphabet yet. Hey, be careful. I just seen some idiot on the news driving the wrong way down the freeway. It's even worse than that. There's hundreds of them.
Three things Disneyland doesn't want you to know. For a long time, there's been a rumor that some of the bones on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride are from real human skeletons. In 2014, a writer asked an employee about the rumor as he was getting off the ride, and she said the skeleton sitting above the bed in the treasure room contains a real human skull. Underneath Disneyland, there's a massive system of underground tunnels. One of the purposes for the tunnels is to keep the magic alive by hiding the characters when they're not supposed to be seen. Emergency vehicles also use the tunnels to get to their patient while trying to be unseen by the public so they don't kill the vibe. Disneyland strategically releases a vanilla scent through smellitizers which look like speakers. They do this because the scent is proven to calm people down and it also makes them hungry so they'll spend more money on food. At the main entrance they use the smell of popcorn. The haunted mansion is made to smell musty and at the Pirates of the Caribbean they release the scents of wet wood and sea salt. You're a Gemini or a Leo. Aquarius. <gasps> no way, I'm an Aquarius. When's your birthday? When? When's your birthday? When's your birthday? Aquariuses are weird. Are you okay? <laughs> By any chance, it's your birthday January 25th. 28. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Wait, can I please take a picture? <laughs> times animals took revenge on humans. A Russian hunter shot and wounded a Siberian tiger during his hunt. But the tiger didn't forget what had happened, and after a few hours found the place that he lived and waited for him. When he arrived, the tiger killed and ate him. A hunter shot a deer and thought it was dead, but the deer got up and attacked him with his antlers, resulting in six stitches to the head. In 2011, a group of hunters killed an elephant in India, but what they didn't expect is that the rest of the herd would take revenge. They destroyed 54 houses in the area, they hid during the day and destroyed everything around them at night. I'm going to show you how you can keep using TikTok even if it gets banned. First, you're going to want to click the link on my profile, then press TikTok hack and download the app. Since it's only getting banned in America, once you open the app, you're going to want to change your location to somewhere that still has it, like Canada. It'll connect to a Canadian server, and TikTok will think you're from Canada, so you'll still be able to use it. So if I were you, I would download this app just in case TikTok gets banned in three days on September 15th, so you can still watch your favorite creators. Who is the most popular TikToker in your province? Today, we've got Manitoba. With nearly 3 million followers, Luke Davidson is going to take the number one spot for Manitoba. He joined our live the other night, we chatted, he's a super cool guy, only 17 years old and really successful. Let me know what province you guys want to see next. Mom, I'm going to the pool. To go swimming? No! To drink it! I brought home food! <gasps> is that McDonald's? No! It's KFC! Are you in the bathroom? No! I'm in Alaska! Look what I brought home! <gasps> is that for us? No! It's for the neighbors! Is this your homework? No! It's my job application! Is that a ten dollar bill? No! It's a million dollars! Where's the remote? For the TV? No! For the spaceship! Is that your water? No! It's my food! Are you brushing your teeth? No! I'm brushing the dog! Is that your girlfriend? No! I just like holding random people's hands for no reason! Is that your money? No! It's my dog's! We're almost out of gas. Should I pull into this gas station? No! Let's just keep driving till we run out! Mom, I heard we're going to Mexico next week. Is that true? That's what your father and I were thinking. Should I book the plane tickets? No! Let's just walk there! Are you packing for the trip? No! I'm robbing myself! Are you reading that book? No! I'm counting the letters in it. Are you sweeping the floor? No! I'm tickling it! Coochie coochie coo! Teacher, can I borrow an eraser please? Why do you need one? Why do you think? To erase something? No! To throw it at Jimmy! Are you cold? No! I'm trying on my Halloween costume! Mom, can we go to the mall today? Why, do you want to go shopping? No! I want to go sit in the parking lot! Alright, see you guys! Are you leaving? No! I'm just saying goodbye, then walking outside to walk back in. Hey! Let go of my purse! No! Oh my gosh, did they just steal your purse? No! We're playing cops and robbers! <laughs> Why are you crying? I failed my math test. You what? Are you disappointed in me? No! I'm proud of you. Come give me a hug. What's going on, boys and girls? It's your boy, Luke Davidson. Luke! Luke. Oh, are you making a video? No! I'm talking to the wall.
Hey, Luke, are you talking to me? No! I'm talking to the ghost. <laughs> Did you just slap me? No! I gave your face a high five. Welcome to my house. Wow, this is your house? No! It's my neighbor's. Mom, do you have any flour? Why, are you baking something? No! I want to plant it outside and see if it turns into a real flour. Mom, I'm going to go for a walk. Right now? No! In three weeks. Hey, did you get a haircut? No! My hair fell out. Anyway, I'm really hungry. Do you need food? No! I'm just going to eat some air. <laughs> well, you better get cooking because it's getting late. No! Really? I thought it was 7 a.m. Oh, he just fell. No, really? I thought he was just trying to lick the ice. Mom, do you know where the scissors are? Do you need them so you could cut that? No, so I could cut my grilled cheese sandwich. Are you washing your car? No, I'm watering it to see if it turns into a school bus. What? Are you cutting the grass? No, I'm giving the earth a haircut. Did you paint your walls? No, I cleaned the walls so good that it changed colors. Are you going golfing? No, I'm going to play tennis. Hey, do you want to go to the movie theater with me to watch a movie? No, to count how many seats there are. Oh, hey, are you shopping for groceries too? No, I'm hunting unicorns. Ooh, did you hurt yourself? No, do you want me to do it again? What should we film for our family channel? Uh, how about the Say Yes for 24 Hours Challenge? Uh, what exactly is that? Basically, for the whole video, you can't say no. You have to say yes to everything I ask you. Okay, that could be a pretty entertaining video. Are you ready? Yup, in three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's the Davidson family, and in today's video, we're doing the Say Yes Challenge. Luke, what's your first question? Can we go buy a Lamborghini? Uh... Oh, just one second. I'll be right back. Oh, Mom! Where are you going? You can't say no! I know I can't say no, but you never told me anything about writing it. <gasps> yeah, let's go! <laughs> Grandma, how do you work this? Hey Luke, what's your computer password? It's Luke1234. Thank you. But wait, since you know my password now, what's yours? Oh, mine is Superman, Batman, Flash, Iron Man, Loki, Thor, Deadpool, Spider-Man. Why is it so long? Because it said it had to be at least eight characters. <laughs> what size is your TV? Um, I don't know. New? <laughs> That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it? It's I don't knowing. Guys, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it? I don't know. You flippin' idiot. If you don't know, then shut up. Let's find out just how much you know about a boat. What would you do if a storm appeared? Throw out the anchor. What would you do if another storm appeared after? Throw out another anchor. And if another storm appeared, what would you do? Throw out another anchor. Hold on, where are you getting all your anchors from? The same place you're getting your storms. <gasps> I'll grab the three of you, one wish each. I want to get off this island and go home. I want to go home too. Now I'm lonely. I really wish my friends were back. Genius inventions that should exist everywhere. Some elevators in Asia have giant buttons on the floor that you can kick to mark what floor you're going to. This was designed to help people who are carrying things and can't press the buttons with their hands. There's a mall that lets you leave your dog in a safe spot while you shop. The spot has a security system so that only you can open them, as well as lighting and air conditioning. In the United States, there's a shoe store that lets you test the shoes on different surfaces. The test box includes gravel, asphalt, and even materials like Lego. Finally, there's restaurants that give you a controller with three buttons. The first button lets the waiters know when you're ready to order, 
order. The second is to let them know when you're ready to pay. And the third one is to cancel your order. The idea is to avoid the waiters from constantly asking you if you're ready to order. Genius inventions that should exist everywhere. In Poland, this bike path was made using thousands of tiny luminophores, which is a material that produces low levels of light for 10 hours, then recharges itself from the sun. The bike path doesn't require electricity and provides safety for people biking at night. 20 different cities in France have already implemented this. It allows you to charge your phone by using pedal power. The goal of the company is to promote an active lifestyle while making sure your phone doesn't die. People who use the bike also get free Wi-Fi. The Cal Maritime Police Department in California has placed a safe zone outside which is watched by a camera 24-7. They made this zone so you don't have to worry about getting hurt or robbed while purchasing things from people in your city. Five emojis that you've been using wrong. Lots of people think this emoji symbolizes praying, but it's actually a high five. When you first look at this, it looks like a kiss, but it's actually a whistle. The right-facing fist doesn't mean to punch, but is a sign of respect. This emoji is usually used to get people to read what's underneath it, but also symbolizes being under the weather or feeling down. This isn't just a pink ribbon, it's actually the symbol for fighting cancer. How much are the bottles? $3 for one bottle and $10 for three. Here's $3, give me one bottle. Here you go, thanks. Wait, here's $3, give me another. Here you go. Here's $3, give me one more. Okay. I just bought three bottles for $9, don't you see? This makes everyone buy three bottles instead of one. Can I go to the washroom? It's not can I go to the washroom, it's May. You're wrong. It's February. No, I know. What was that noise? I accidentally broke your vase. Do you even know how old that was? No. It was from the 18th century. Thank God. I thought it was new. Here's five everyday things that you didn't know the purpose of. The number 57 on Heinz ketchup bottles. According to Heinz, only 11% of people know that it has nothing to do with the product label. It's actually a sweet spot to tap on to get the sauce onto your plate. Childproof bottle caps. Everyone knows plastic medicine bottles come with childproof caps. But if there's no children around, you can flip the cap upside down and it's no longer childproof. The arrow next to the fuel tank. The arrow actually points to which side of the vehicle the fuel tank's on, which is really handy if you're renting a vehicle. The little slot at the end of tape measures. The slot can be held on nails when you're measuring so you don't need anyone else to hold it. The ridges on the F and J keys. These are there so your index fingers can locate other keys with muscle memory making it easier to type. Bro, I just dropped my phone from the 20th floor. Is it broken? I don't know yet, but good thing I put it on airplane mode. Hello? Who is that? Your girlfriend? No, it's yours. Order! Order! One pizza, four breadsticks, and one cold. Shut up! No, seven up. I bet I can get you to say the word pink. Okay. What color is my hair? Red. What color is your hair? Blonde. Ha! Told you I'd get you to say blonde. But you said pink. Oh, you said pink. There's five everyday things that you didn't know the purpose of. Number one, the hole in pot handles. Most people use it to hang pots and pans, but it can also be used to hold spoons when you're cooking so you don't make a mess. Number two, the groove on the bottom of mugs. The grooves are designed so when you place it upside down in the dishwasher, it allows water to flow out rather than spill all over your feet when you take it out. Number three, the hole in pen caps. The hole's there to allow airflow so if someone swallows it, they won't choke. Number four, pom-poms on beanies. This style was made for French sailors so they wouldn't hit their head on the ceilings of ships that were low. Number five, the tiny buttons on jeans. These tiny buttons are called rivets and are placed in the spots that are most likely to fall apart. Mom, can we bring this cat home? No, son, we already have a cat at home. But it doesn't have a family. Did you say family? Mom? No, son, it's Dom Toretto. Come on, let's bring it home. Did you see my client commit this burglary? Yes, I clearly saw him stealing. This happened at night. Are you sure you saw my client commit this crime? Yes, I saw him do it. Listen, you're 80 years old and your eyesight's probably bad. How far can you see at night? I can see all the way to the moon. <gasps> After my grandpa fell and I'm scared he has a concussion. Okay, do you know where you are, sir? I'm at the hospital. What city are you in? Los Angeles. Do you know who I am? Dr. Scott. I hope he doesn't ask any more questions. Why? Because all of those answers were on his badge. <gasps> hey honey, can you do me a favor? Sure, anything for you. Can you kill a lion for me? Are you crazy? Request something else. Okay then, can I go through your text messages? Where's this lion you want me to kill? <gasps> Why is there a two year gap on your resume? Oh, I was in jail. Really? For what? For killing the last interviewer who said he'd call me back. Congratulations, you're hired. How old are you? It's not very nice of you to ask for a girl's age, so I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, I'm sorry. What's your email? Sarah1997 at gmail.com
Would you like to watch a movie? M me? Yes, you. Yeah, sure. What would you like to watch? I don't care. You pick. No, you pick. No, you pick. Sir, there are other people waiting in line to buy tickets. I love TikTok. Okay. I love Instagram. Okay. I love you. What? Really? Two. I mean, I love YouTube. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Really? Tell me the good news. Disney just loved your script. Absolutely ate it up. That's awesome. And what's the bad news? Disney's the name of my dog. Ha! I saw your pin. You're such a liar. What is it then? 1010. Nope, it's 1818. Hey, can you help me? I'm lost. Yeah, what do you need? I'm actually wondering if I can get directions to your heart. They're talking so loud I can't even hear the teacher. Excuse me, I can't hear. This is a private conversation you're not supposed to hear. Does anyone know of a bird that has wings but can't fly? Yeah, I know. Okay, tell us. A dead one. I have a terrible pain in my leg. I'm afraid it's just old age. That can't be right. You don't know what you're talking about. How could you possibly know that I'm wrong? Well, it's quite obvious. My other leg is the exact same age. <gasps> if you had five dollars and asked your mother for another five dollars, how much money would you have? I would have five dollars, miss. You don't know your math. But miss, you don't know my mother. <gasps> Luke, what's one minus one? One minus one? Yeah, if you subtract one from one, what do you get? One. No, try again. Two? Okay, let's do it this way. If you have only one potato chip left in the frying pan and you take it out of the pan... Oh, I know the answer. You do? What is it then? Cooking oil. <gasps> I'm not able to do lots of the things I used to do around the house. Okay, let me quickly examine you. Now, Doc, I can take it. Tell me in plain English what's wrong with me. Well, in plain English, you're just lazy. Okay, now tell me the medical term so I can tell my wife. <gasps> can I get this can of dog food, please? Do you have a dog, sir? Yes, he's at home. In order to sell you dog food, I have to see the dog. It's store policy. Can I get this can of cat food, please? Do you own a cat, sir? Yeah, she's at home. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Store policy. I have to see the cat before I sell you cat food. Put your hand in here. It's all soft and warm. Yeah, that's right. I need to buy a roll of toilet paper. <gasps> Everyone, please be quiet. Why do I still hear talking? Because you have ears. What do you want to do tonight? Hmm, why don't we go to the zoo? But babe, I'm not ready to meet your family yet. Sorry, I can't come into work today. Why not? Are you sick? It's my eyes. Why? What's wrong with your eyes? I just can't see myself coming to work today. I have the perfect son. Does he smoke? Nope. Does he drink alcohol? Nope. Does he ever come home late? Never. I guess you really do have the perfect son. He'll be six months old next week. I'm having problems with my hearing. Okay, can you describe the symptoms? Sorry, what was that? Can you describe the symptoms? Oh, um, March has blue hair and Homer likes donuts. <gasps> Dad, are bugs okay to eat? That's disgusting! Don't talk about things like that over dinner! Now son, what did you want to ask me? Oh, nothing. There's a bug in your soup, but now it's gone. If you can make me laugh, I'll PayPal you one cent. I... no. What about a dollar? Oh, oh, I don't know. That's a big bank. Mm-hmm. Um, no. What about two? No. Three? It's not worth my time. Five dollars. Take it or leave it. What can I get with five dollars? You could get a Big Mac. I could. I definitely could. Alright, try. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. No joke, send it. Why? Because I'll send you the money. You made me laugh. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You actually sent me five. I didn't know why. It's Christmas. Babe, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I would put you and I together. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Really? So will you get back together with me? Actually, on second thought, I like the alphabet the way it is now, with the N and O beside each other.
Why? It spells no. <laughs> Five people who won the food lottery. This pack usually comes with 12 cookies, but they got two extra. This person got three pizzas instead of two. A lemon the size of a watermelon grew on this person's tree. This person got three Pop-Tarts in a pack of two. And this person got an avocado without the seed. Mom, can you give me $20? No, why don't you get a job and work for some money? If you give me $20, I'll tell you what Dad said to the maid when you were out shopping. Oh, fine, here's $20. Now, what did your father say to the maid? Hey, Mary, can you make sure I have a clean shirt for tomorrow? <gasps> tell me the comparative you know degree of bad. Badder? What? Water? Stop! Stopper? <laughs> I'll treat you for $500, but if you don't get cured, I'll give you $1,000 back. Okay, well I've lost all taste in my mouth. Can you please help me? Nurse, can you get medicine from box 22 and put three drops in his mouth? Oh, that's gasoline! Congratulations, you got your taste back. That'll be $500. I lost my memory, I can't remember a thing. Nurse, can you get medicine from box 22 and put three drops in his mouth? Oh no you don't, that's gasoline! Congratulations, you got your memory back. That'll be $500. Oh. I lost my eyesight, I can't see anything. Well, I don't have any medicine for that, so here's $1,000. But this is only $500. Congratulations, you got your vision back. That'll be $500. <gasps> I want you to if I kissed your girlfriend, would we be friends? You no. Would we be enemies? No. Mine. Then what would we be? We would be even. If you keep eating like that, you're gonna get fat. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I see you're talking from experience. Doctor, my wife can barely hear me. I would try standing far away from her and ask her a question, then slowly move forward and see how far you are away when she responds. Okay, I'll try that. Honey, what's for supper? Honey, what's for supper? Honey, what's for supper? Honey, what's for supper? For the fourth time, it's lasagna! Five people who won the food lottery. When this person cracked an egg, a smaller one came out of it. This person found that in their pack of Skittles. This person got blueberries the size of a quarter. This person got a Kinder Egg with two layers of chocolate. And this person found five peanuts in one shell. Bro, I have good news and bad news. Just tell me the good news. The airbags in your car work perfectly. I've seen some comments asking me how I edit my video, so I'm going to show you guys how. After I record the videos, I edit the clip so it ends right after I'm done talking. Then I adjust the clip so it looks like I'm having a conversation. Now it's time to add the music and I have the song in my favorite so it's easy to find. Then I adjust the volume so you could hear me talking. Then I align the music so the beat drops right after my last sentence. And finally I add the words, then I put them over my head and I adjust the length so they're the same duration as the clips. Can I borrow your phone to call my girlfriend? Yeah, of course. Your phone's a genius. When I put in her number, it said calling girlfriend. <laughs> here's what the inside of a fridge looks like when it's closed. So here's my fridge here, it keeps things cold, you know. So I'm gonna set you guys right beside my milk, and I'm gonna close the door in three, two, one. Hi, sisters! Ah! Send this video to a friend so they know what it looks like too. Here's what to do if a burglar breaks into your house when you're home. First thing you want to do is try leaving out of either the front door, the back door, or a window. If you can't escape, then you'll have to lock yourself in a room. Bedrooms are the first place burglars look because that's where most people keep their valuables. So you'll want to go to a bathroom because that's usually not of interest to burglars. As soon as you're safe and hidden, you'll want to call the police. You want to give them your location first in case anything happens and you're not able to finish the conversation because at least they'll know where to go. If you can do it without being noticed, try and get as much detail about the burglar as you can, like his hair color, clothes, and height. And if you can look outside, try to remember the vehicle's brand, color, and license plate. Then wait until the burglar leaves or the police show up. Here's why the queen always carries her purse. Inside the bag she carries a mirror, a pen, lipstick, a few mints, and her reading glasses. But on Sundays she also carries money for church donations. However, she mainly uses it as an indicator for her staff. When the queen shifts her purse from one hand to the other, it means she's ready to finish that conversation. If the queen puts her purse on the dinner table, it means she wants the event to be over within the next five minutes. When the queen puts her purse on the floor, it means she's finding no pleasure in the conversation and would like someone to help her out. And finally, when the queen twists her ring, it means she needs to be rescued immediately. You have one new voice message. Hi honey, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be home late, so can you please wash my clothes and make my favorite meal for supper? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, right. Now what? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I got a raise at my job, so I'm gonna buy you a brand new car. What? 
Hello? Are you actually buying me a new car? No, I just wanted to make sure you got my first message. <gasps> my photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like there's a giant pigeon, but it's actually just sitting on a ledge and the person's walking in the distance. At first it looks like there's a human dog, but the dog's actually sitting beside its owner. At first this looks like some weird looking cat, but it's actually just two cats laying in the exact same position on each side. At first it looks like this fish has an arm, but the fish just got too close to the camera. And finally, it looks like this person has a small head, but it's just the head from the person in front of them. Hey! Class isn't the place to sleep! And home isn't the place to study! Did you do the chores? Yes! You're such a liar, I checked. Me a liar! You told me about the tooth fairy! What's the problem, officer? You were going at least 75 in a 50 zone. No, sir. I was going 65. Harry, you were going 80. I'm also going to give you a ticket for your broken taillight. A broken taillight? I didn't know about that. Harry, you've known about that taillight for weeks. I'm also going to give you a citation for not wearing your seatbelt. Oh, I just took it off when you were walking up to the car. Harry, you never wear your seatbelt. Shut your mouth! Ma'am, does your husband always talk to you this way? No, only when he's drunk. Uh, <laughs> secrets and everyday items that you didn't know about. Have you ever wondered why doorknobs are made out of brass or some sort of alloy metal? This is because those materials help prevent bacteria from spreading. If you take the lid off your cup and place it underneath, it fits perfectly as a coaster. Have you ever wondered why there's a hole in plane windows? The hole is in the middle pane of the three window panes. It takes off pressure from the outer pane so the window doesn't break. Gas pump hoses are attached by magnets. So if you forget to take out the hose, the pump won't go with you. The number on the side of lotion tells you how long the product will last so you don't damage your skin. The different colors on the bottom of toothpaste tubes actually mean something. Blue means it's made with natural resources and medicine. Green means it's only made with natural resources. Red means it's made with natural resources and some chemical compositions. And black means it's made with pure chemicals. Hey bro, look, I got a new leather belt and new leather shoes. No, I don't like them. I strictly avoid them. Wow, bro, you love animals and are against animal products. Hats off to you. No, my dad hits me with them when I don't do my homework. <gasps> Luke, do you know your numbers? Yes, my father taught me. Good. What comes after three? Four. What comes after six? Seven? Very good. Your dad did a good job. And what comes after ten? Jack. <gasps> Honey, I tried to make you a cake for your bake sale, but it burnt. That's okay, Mom. Try again and double check the ingredients this time. I already tried again and it turned out even worse. Oh, Mom, you really suck at making things. Well, I suppose that's true. I did make you. <laughs> My neighbor owes me $500, but he won't pay me back. What should I do? Okay, do you have any proof that he owes you the money? No, that's the thing. Then write a letter for the 5000 that he owes you. But it's only 500 Exactly. That's what he'll respond with? Then you'll have the proof. <gasps> Homeless people who won the lottery. Laszlo Andreszczyk was an alcoholic from Hungary who lost everything. He was homeless for seven years with hundreds of unpaid debts. But his luck changed when he bought a lottery ticket for just a few pennies. He won 636 million Hungarian guilders, which is equivalent to 2.5 million dollars. A man living in his car from England bought a lottery ticket with his last few pennies. He put the ticket away and six months after he bought it, he found out that he had won 250,000 pounds. A homeless man who lived in a tent won 50,000 dollars after buying a ticket. Even though he could have bought a small house to Living, he chose to upgrade his tent and help his homeless friends by giving them each a hundred dollars. <laughs> hey guys, so I've been reading articles about TikTok possibly being banned in the United States. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but just in case it does, I'm gonna start posting more on Instagram and YouTube. So make sure you guys go follow me if you haven't already. The easiest way to find my Instagram and YouTube is by clicking this little guy right here. Howdy, I'm home from work. It's my dad. Oh, how's my little boy doing? What's he doing with his hands on his face? I've never seen him do that one before. <gasps> what the heck? Did, did he just disappear? Bigaboo! <laughs> okay, that was a good one. So, did you learn anything at school today? No. No? Did you at least do something fun? Mm -hmm. No. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? We. Uh, oh, did you hear the rumor about the butter? No. Well, I'm not gonna spread it. Okay. <laughs> Can you empty the dishwasher, please? I'm good. Thank you.
Mom, that actually means no. That's how my generation talks. Let's try this again. Empty the flippin' dishwasher and get my foot up your arse. Okay, 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 okay. That's what I thought. Timmy, how do you spell crocodile? K-R-O-K-O-D-A-I-L. No, that's wrong. Maybe it's wrong, but you asked how I spell it. Here's how fans found Marshmallow's real identity. In this picture on Instagram, you can see a red tattoo through the hole in his jeans. The DJ Chris Comstock also has a red tattoo on his leg. During this interview with Skrillex, someone named Chris phoned him and he said it was Marshmallow. And, uh, is that right now? It's Chris. Oh, Marshmallow. Finally, the DJ Feed Me posted a picture of him wearing Marshmallow's mask on his Instagram story. And if you look in the mirror, you could see Chris Comstock taking a picture with the rest of the outfit. It was later deleted, but fans noticed this and took screenshots. How gym teachers think we act at home. I ain't gonna cry too long. No. I'm back on my drip. Yeah. Drip my drip my drip. drip. Right back on my drip. drip. Yeah. I ain't gonna cry too long. Nah. I'm back on my drip. Whoa. Drip my drip my drip. Yeah. Right back yeah. on my yeah. drip. Yeah. How I act when my parents are sleeping. How my parents act when I'm sleeping. Well, oh, Mrs. Talbot, I'm wondering if Ben's awake. Not yet, he's still sleeping. Oh, I was wondering if you wanted to come to my house today. Good morning, mommy. Who are you talking to? Your friend Luke's wondering if you want to go to his house. Can I? If you want to, say yes. He just woke up and he said yes. How parents think guests will act when you don't clean your room? I ain't gonna cry too long. No. I'm back on my drip. Yeah. Drip my drip my drip. drip. Right back on my drip. Yeah. I ain't gonna cry too long. Nah. I'm back on my drip. Whoa. Drip my drip my drip. Yeah. Right back yep, on my yep, drip. Okay, yep. try. How parents think you will act when they take away your phone? I ain't gonna cry too long. No. I'm back on my drip. Yeah. Drip my drip my drip. Drip. Right back on my drip. Yeah. I ain't gonna cry too long. Nah. I'm back on my drip. Whoa. Drip my drip my drip. Yeah. Right back yep. on my. I feel like I'm missing a pair. Where could they be? I can't keep living like this. What do you mean, man? This is what we were made for. I know, but, but, but... But what? But spit it out! His feet smell so bad! Oh, here they are. I think he's coming back. That's it, man. I'm making a run for it. What? You can't leave me. We're a pair. I'm sorry, man, but I can't do it anymore. No, man. Wait! Today we're going to be starting our new unit on algebra. <sighs> Why do we have to learn this? We're never even going to use this in life. Do you know what the speed limit is? No idea. Oh, there's a sign coming up. Where? Oh. Today we're going to be learning about square root. Oh, everybody line up at the door. Hey, no running. We need to go in a single file line. Leave your backpack, Luke. We don't have time. But it's already on my back. I SAID WE DON'T HAVE TIME! Now everybody, follow me! Uh, miss, do you think we can- I can't figure out the answer to this question. Which one? Number seven. What's the hardest natural substance on Earth? Oh, so out of all the natural substances on Earth, which one's the hardest? I don't know what a natural substance is, though. Uh, do you play Minecraft? Yeah. What's the hardest natural substance in the game? Uh, diamonds? Maybe. I don't know. Luke, you know why your name starts with an L? Why? Because you're a loser. L for loser. Hey, don't call me that. It makes me feel sad inside, and it really hurts my feelings. <laughs>
Oh yeah? And what are you going to do about it? Hey teacher, he called me a loser. Jesse, can you please say sorry to Luke? Fine. I'm sorry for calling you a loser. I shouldn't have said that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Do you want to be friends? Yeah, sure. We can be best friends forever. Come on, bro. Show me what you got. You're going to catch one of these in the face if you're not careful. Oh yeah? Not if I beat you to it. Boys, can you please stop fighting? Yeah, she's right. Good fight. Yeah, bro. You throw a mean punch. Aw, thanks, man. You have good form. I'll see you around. Thanks, bro. Take care. The most famous magic tricks were performed. The secret to the classic trick where a woman's cut in half by a saw is to use a box divided in two parts. The woman lies down in one box and fake feet come out the other box. To swallow the sword without getting hurt, the magicians place their head up to align their throat and stomach. This way the sword enters in a straight line and doesn't touch anything. The guillotine is one of the most dangerous and famous tricks out there. The secret so that nothing goes wrong is that the bottom of the guillotine has hidden compartments and blocks to stop the blade before it reaches the person's neck. To perform the trick where one magician lies with his back towards the wheels of a truck and the other magician drives over him, all the weight of the truck is on the opposite side of the magician, so he doesn't really feel that much pain. Mom, are you okay? You've been lying in here since you got home from work a few hours ago. You know what, honey? I'm not actually feeling that well. I have a bit of a headache. Oh, really? I think I might know why. Why do you think? It's because you're always on your phone. <clears throat> I always see Collins asking me to make a tutorial on how to do the face. I'm away camping, so I figured I'd do it. All you have to do is smile as hard as you can. Then open your eyes wide at the same time, tilt your head down, and roll your eyes up. Here's how to fall asleep faster at night. A few simple things you could try is lowering the temperature in your room, avoiding naps during the day, and avoiding screen time an hour before you go to bed. But the number one thing that keeps people up at night is when they can't stop thinking about something or they're stressed out. The easiest way to reduce stress is by meditating or listening to relaxing sounds. I personally use this meditation app that plays relaxing music to help clear my mind. I set the timer on the music to 10 minutes, then I turn off my phone and fall asleep. If you want to try it out tonight, click the link on my profile, then press meditation app and download it. Thank me later. Have you ever wanted to figure out what celebrities you look like? Well, I'm going to show you how. First, you're going to want to click the link on my profile, then press celebrity lookalike and download the app. Once you open the app, you're going to want to take a picture, then it'll show you who you look like. Tag a friend who should try this and let me know in the comments who you get. What's your name? Hired. You're hired? Thank you very much. Have you ever wondered how to get these secret emojis? Well, I'm going to show you how. First, you're going to want to click the link on my profile, then press keyboard hack and download the app. Once you open it, it'll show you the simple steps to add the fonts and emojis to your keyboard. Then after you press this button, it'll give you access to new fonts and the emojis I showed you at the start of the video so you can show off to your friends. Thank me later. I recently became a mom. Congratulations, teacher. But my baby keeps crying and won't fall asleep. Do you know how I can make her fall asleep? Yeah, that's easy. How? When you teach us in class, make her sit on a chair and she'll automatically fall asleep. Here's an easy way to relieve your stress and anxiety. First, you're going to want to click the link on my profile, then press stress relieving game and download it for free. It's the most relaxing game ever. You start off with one plant that produces oxygen, which you can then use to discover new plants and grow your garden. So next time you're feeling stressed or you're nervous about something, open the app and you'll be feeling better in minutes. Thank me later. Here's the only way to survive a crocodile attack. Crocodiles have the strongest jaws on the planet and they kill around a thousand people every year. If you see a crocodile while you're in the water, you need to stay calm and slowly swim away. If it's still chasing you when you get out of the water, you need to scream and run in zigzags. This will confuse the crocodile and it will eventually leave you alone. Now before I tell you what to do if it already has you in its jaw, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. If you want to try it too, just press this button on my profile. Now if it already has you in its jaw, you need to punch the eyes. This will stun the crocodile and it'll let you go. Here's how to survive a dog attack. First, you need to stay calm and still. The reason dogs attack is because they're afraid, and they've learned that offense is their best defense. So if you yell or make lots of motion, you'll cause their fear to increase and they'll be more aggressive. The second thing is to avoid eye contact. When you stare, it scares them, and again, causes them to be more aggressive. The third thing is to avoid running because it'll trigger them to chase you. Now, if you think it's gonna bite you, put a purse, jacket, or any object in between you and the dog. Then use it as a shield to prevent it from getting close to you. But if the bite's unavoidable, defend yourself with one of your forearms, and use your other arm to protect your face, throat, and stomach. Once the dog has calmed down, slowly back away without turning around. And finally, after the attack, go to the emergency room to check your injuries. 
Here's the only way to survive a grenade blast. The first thing you want to do is turn the other direction and get at least 15 feet away. Then lay on your stomach with the bottom of your feet pointing at the grenade. This will reduce your chances of getting hit by the fragments. But if you do get hit, it will be the bottom of your shoes instead of your skin. Now before I tell you what to do if there's a grenade in the water with you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Marilyn Monroe. If you want to find out who you look like, just press this button on my profile. Now if there's a grenade in the water with you, don't swim deeper, get out. Swimming deeper will cause the blast of the grenade to compress your lungs and cause serious damage. Here is the only way to survive a shark attack. Try to avoid fishing boats. When a fish gets hooked, it bleeds and attracts sharks. Also avoid swimming at night because the sharks won't be able to see as well and they might mistake you as fish. The odds of being attacked by a shark are 11.5 million to 1, but if you're still scared, here's how you could defend yourself. Sharks are sensitive in their gills, so you're going to want to keep punching them until you can slowly back away. An Australian and an American surfer both did this and they survived. Here is the only way to survive a tsunami. If you want a chance of surviving, you'll need to be able to identify the early signs of a tsunami. In most cases, an earthquake happens before a tsunami, so protect yourself from that first, then get to high ground as quickly as possible. Another sign is the water will pull back and expose more land. Don't go investigate because you'll be putting your life at risk for when the water comes back. Instead, head in the opposite direction. Try to get 2 miles away from the ocean or at least 100 feet above sea level to be safe. If you don't have time to get far away, look for a tall, sturdy building and get to the top as fast as possible. If you can't get to a building, find something and hold on to it. When you think it's over, it probably won't be. Tsunami waves can be anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour apart. So stay in a safe place until you hear from your local officials. Every time I lay in bed, I get this terrible fear that there's something underneath. Wow, I've never heard of such a phobia. But like all phobias, it could be treated. It will likely take 20 sessions. Okay, how much is each session? Oh, it's just $80 a session, but trust me, it's well worth it. How come I didn't hear back from you? When I told my husband about the price, he thought he would save some money, so he cut the legs off my bed. <gasps> Here's the only way to survive if you're buried alive. First, you need to stay calm and slow down your breathing to preserve oxygen. Then lift your shirt up and tie it in a knot to protect yourself from dirt. Now, with something hard like a belt buckle, a ring, or a rock, you need to break the coffin. Now, use your hands to push the dirt to your feet so you can sit up, then climb out. I'm going to show you how you can keep using TikTok even if it gets banned. TikTok is getting banned from the App Store this Sunday, but as long as you have it downloaded, you'll still be able to use it. However, they have until November 12th to make a deal before it's permanently banned. So if you want to be on the safe side, click the link on my profile, then press TikTok hack and download the app. Once you open the app, you're going to want to change your location to somewhere that still has it, like Canada. Since it's only getting banned in America, TikTok will think you're from Canada and you'll still be able to use it. Honey, would you be happy if I got you jewelry for Valentine's Day? Aww, nothing would make me more happier. Sweetie, happy Valentine's Day. Where's the jewelry? When I asked you if you wanted that, you said nothing would make you happier. Did you have your lunch? Did you have your lunch? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Let's go shopping. Yes, I had my lunch. You know that girl that said she couldn't live without you? Yeah? What about her? She's alive! Are you good at physics? Yeah, why? Can you help me? What's the question? Two elephants were walking together. One was red and one was left-handed. How old is my dog if I like pancakes? We just experienced some turbulence which caused an engine to break, but luckily we have three left. Because of this, we'll be arriving 30 minutes late. Ugh. We just lost our second engine, but don't worry, we're still running fine with two. We'll be around two hours late now. We just lost our third engine and we'll be arriving four hours late. If we lose another engine, we'll be up here all day! Duh. <gasps> Addison Ray, can I ask you a question? Are your parents bakers? No. Because you're a cutie pie. I have one more question and then I'll let you go. Can you speak Spanish? Um, quiero ser mi novio. That's all I know in Spanish. That was pretty good. Well, it was nice to meet you. I love you. Love you. I just met the woman of my dreams. What should I do? Send her some flowers and on the card invite her over for a home-cooked meal. That's genius. Thank you. I wonder how his meal went. Well, that was a terrible idea. Didn't she come to your house? She did, but she refused to cook. <laughs> You're beautiful. Do you want to go on a date? Uh, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I have a math test tomorrow. What does that have to do with anything? Sorry, I thought we were both listing things we could cheat on. <gasps> Oh. Uh -huh.
Like rhymes, like last week, like we always are. What? I don't sound like that. It must be my phone. Your husband just woke up from surgery. You can come see him now. Okay, thank you. But just to let you know, he's still on anesthetics. Hey, sweetie, how are you? You're so beautiful. Aww. You're so cute. What happened to me being beautiful? Drugs are wearing off. No <laughs> parents think you will act when they tell you to get some fresh air. I ain't gonna cry too long. No. I'm back on my drip. Yeah. Drip my drip my drip. drip. Right back on my drip, yeah. I ain't gonna cry too long. Nah. I'm back on my drip. Whoa. Drip my drip, my drip. Yeah. Right back yeah. on my drip. Yeah. Yeah. Can't try. So I have 1.8 million followers on TikTok, but only 13.7 thousand on Instagram. And TikTok might be getting banned in the US, but I don't want to lose you guys. Instagram Reels, which is just like TikTok, but on Instagram, got released in India right after TikTok got banned. And I have a feeling it'll be available to everybody soon. So just in case TikTok gets banned and you still want to see my content, make sure to go and follow me on Instagram. Thank you. What is your qualification? I'm a PhD. And what exactly do you mean by PhD? Past high school with difficulty. I want you to try and sell this laptop for me. Hey, bring the laptop back right now. 200 and it's yours. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, I seen you on TikTok. No. What? <laughs> Do you want to go out for a drink? No, I don't drink. Okay, then let's get something to eat. No, I'm on a diet. Let's go out for fresh air. I don't breathe. This video is sponsored by Nintendo of Canada. Luke, you need to pack your bags for Christmas at Grandma and Grandpa's tomorrow. Okay. Why are you sad? Because it's a long drive and I have nothing fun to do. Okay, Luke, are you ready to do our Christmas Eve tradition and open one present? Yes, yes, yes! Okay, I've already picked one for you to open. Okay. A Nintendo Switch? I know how much you've been wanting a Nintendo Switch, and I figured it would be the perfect gift for you to open tonight. This way, you can play it in the vehicle tomorrow, and even while we're at Grandma and Grandpa's. Plus, I got you the two games that you were begging for, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Splatoon 3, so we could play together, and you could play it with your friends. Thank you so much, Mom! This is the best present ever! Will I make you mine? <laughs> you know Bro, why did you throw an apple at that kid? He said onions are the only food that makes you cry, so I was proving him wrong. Can I bring this magazine next door to get a photocopy? Keep some ID, like a driver's license or a credit card. But my wife's here getting a haircut. Yes, I know, but I'll need something you'll come back for. Whoa, Luke, what are you doing? Why did you just run away from the operation table? The nurse kept saying, don't get scared, don't be afraid, this is just a small operation. So, what's wrong with that? Why are you so afraid? She was saying that to the surgeon! <gasps> How are you doing today? Nurse, I'm in love with you. I don't want to get better. Don't worry, you won't. What do you mean? The doctor's in love with me too and he saw you kissing me this morning. <gasps> you need to eat healthier. No. The last patient who didn't change their diet after I told them to died. Oh my goodness! In a plane crash. That sounds unrelated. I'm the one that crashed it so don't disobey me. <gasps> I've been making YouTube videos for a year and I still have zero subscribers. Well, maybe it's time for an upgrade. What do you mean? Do you have any cool lights in the background of your videos? No. Here, consider this an early birthday present from me. Thank you. My friend got me these Gongi wall lights for my birthday, so they're gonna be in the background of the videos from now on, so I hope you guys like them. Thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. Ever since I was a little kid, I've wanted one of these, so thank you guys so much. We hit 1 million subscribers. Thank you guys so much for making my dreams come true. Thank you for watching my videos, subscribing to me, and letting me be able to do this for a living. It means the world. I told him he just needed an upgrade. As you can tell, I'm still bored at home, but luckily I found another super addicting game. You try and fly as far as you can, and the farther you get, the more money you make. With the money, you could upgrade your jetpack and running speed. Just click the link on my profile, 
then press Jetpack Jump to download it for free, and let me know in the comments what you think of the game. Wow, your house is amazing! Thank you! Wait a second, where's your goofy Lyra lamp? What lamp? <laughs> I'm leaving! I invited a girl to my house, but when she came inside, she got disgusted and left. Really? Do you have any clue why? No, she just said something about a lamp. Oh, did you not turn on your Govi Lyra lamp? My Govi Lyra lamp? I don't have a lamp. What? Here, take my extra, then put it on a romantic color and invite a girl over. Wow, your house is amazing. Thank you. Wait a second, where is your- Oh, and I almost forgot. Let me pull up the Govi app on my phone and turn on the lamp. Now, should I put on the music mode? Oh, I know, she'll like the romantic scene. So, what do you want to do? <laughs> Why is your brother crying? Oh, he's just sad because he can't watch his favorite shows on Netflix. Does he like Spongebob? Yeah, that's literally his favorite show. Well, if he switched to Canada's Netflix, he could watch it. Really? Can you show me? All you have to do is press the button on my profile, then press NordVPN and download it. Once you open the app, connect to Canada, and now we can watch any show that's on Canada's Netflix, including Spongebob. Wow, thank you so much. Jesse, look! <gasps> My brother's in jail for something he didn't do. What didn't he do? He didn't run fast enough. April Fool pranks that went way too far. The sales assistant at a store called her boss and told them that the store was being robbed and she was being threatened. Within a few minutes, police cars and helicopters surrounded the store. When she said it was an April Fool's prank, she was arrested and fired from her job. A lady was arrested after calling her daughter and saying she was shot at her home. The daughter called the police, but when 20 police officers arrived, they realized that no one was there and it was just a bad joke. On a radio station in England, the DJ decided to make a joke saying from the cliffs of Beachy Head, a ship very similar to the Titanic could be seen. Tons of people went to the cliff causing a lot of traffic. A few days later due to the traffic, a crack opened up the ground and it fell into the sea. Son, you have to work five times as hard as you did last year to get a good mark on the exam. But dad, what? Zero times five equals zero. Athletes who were caught cheating. In 2012, it was confirmed that cyclist Lance Armstrong had used drugs throughout his career to enhance his performance. He received a lifetime ban and got his seven Tour de France victories taken away. Tom Brady demanded that the balls being used in a game between the Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts were to be slightly inflated to gain an advantage. Although they won 45 to 7, Brady was fined $4 million and banned for four games. Ben Johnson cheated to win the 100 meter dash in the 1988 Olympics. A prohibited anabolic steroid was detected in his samples, for which he was banned for two years. A few years later, he tested positive again and was banned for life. Finally, in the 1986 World Cup, in a game between Argentina and England, Diego Maradona scored a goal with his hand, and the referee counted it despite the evidence. What's the difference between a piano, tuna, and a pot of glue? I'm not sure. You can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. <laughs> what about the glue? I knew you'd get stuck there. <laughs> Babe, tell me the news. We're having a baby boy. That's amazing, but we have to call him Luke. Aw, like your grandpa that's always been there for you? No, like Star Wars, so I could say, Luke, I am your father. Hey, can you help me load this money into the truck? Yeah, sure. So why'd you need my help? Don't other people work here? Well, I'm not actually a bank attendant. I just needed someone to blame. Let me copy your homework. Do it yourself. No, I'm not a nerd. Me neither. I'm just smarter than you. Times Google Maps saved lives. One day, Sander Kochler was on his way to work when an ex-employee named John Charles kidnapped him. He said their boss owed him money, so he wanted to use Sander to set up a meeting with him. When John left the room, Sander used Google Maps to send his location to his boss. When his boss got his location, he called the police and drove there immediately. John was then arrested and sentenced to eight years in prison. When Saru was five years old, he got on a runaway train in India, which separated him from his family. He had to start a whole new life by himself, and he searched for his family for 23 years. Since he was so young at the time, he couldn't remember where they lived. The only thing that he could remember is that his hometown was closed off by two bridges. When Google Maps came out, he used it to find the two bridges and he found them. He then traveled to his hometown and was reunited with his family. What is it, doctor? I have bad news and really bad news. Well, let me hear it. The bad news is, I got your test results and you have 24 hours to live. Then what's the really bad news? I forgot to tell you yesterday.
Three animals that saved human lives. One day at four in the morning, this parrot started squawking. Not because it was hungry, but because the laundry room was on fire. The loud noises from the parrot woke up its owners, then they ran outside and called the fire department. If it weren't for the parrot, their whole house could have been destroyed, and even worse yet, they could have been hurt badly. One winter night in Russia, someone heard a cat meowing outside their apartment, so they went to go and see it. When they got there, they realized it wasn't the cat making noises, it was actually a baby crying. If it weren't for the cat keeping the baby warm, it might not have survived in the cold. A five-year-old named Amber Mason and her family traveled to Thailand for a vacation. While they were there, Amber became friends with a four-year-old elephant. One morning when they were strolling the beach, an unexpected tsunami hit. The elephant rushed to the water to get Amber and pulled her to shore where her mother was waiting. If it weren't for the elephant, she could have drowned. I'm gonna ask him right now. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Can I go to Jesse's house? Huh? Can I go to Jesse's house? No. Yeah, you can go. We're not doing anything today. <laughs> Mom, why did you never tell me that I was adopted? What are you talking about? You're not adopted. Well, today in class, we did a DNA test, and I matched with some random people that I've never even met before. What? No, that's not right. Honey, you tell him. Tell him what? He's not our biological son. What? What do you mean? Remember our first few nights in the hospital when our baby wouldn't stop crying? Yeah, and I told you to change him. Yeah, and I did. <gasps> Get off the computer! You're supposed to be doing your homework! Well, I am! I needed to do research for the assignment! Okay, I'll let you continue then. Let me just check to see what he's been searching up. <gasps> Naked... Mole rats? Turn off your computer right now! What? Why? You're supposed to be doing your homework, not searching up random things! But mole rats are my favorite animal! I don't care! If I come back in here again and you're still on there, you're grounded! Hey son. What? You should download this secret app that I've been using. What does it do? It hides your search history. How do you think I've never got caught? Caught doing what? You know, playing video games at work. It also reduces the lag so I have an advantage against the other players. Oh! Yeah, and you can get NordVPN by pressing the button on my profile.